Wow, look how blue that ice is, it's fallen off. I can hear it already, I don't know if you can hear that, but wow. Just absolutely stunning. That colour is insane. I can't get over the colour of those lumps of ice in the water. The Perito Moreno Glacier develops high in the Andes Mountains from heavy snowfall which compresses over time. Thanks to gravity and the build-up of ice, the glacier is slowly forced down the mountain and into the southern arm of Lago Argentino, the largest freshwater lake in Argentina. Perito Moreno Glacier began to form during the last ice age, which started around 2.6 million years ago and ended around 11,700 years ago. Scientists calculate that the Perito Moreno Glacier is around 18,000 years old. Unlike most of the 47 glaciers here in the southern Patagonian ice field of Argentina and Chile, Perito Moreno is one of three glaciers that isn't retreating. It's advancing. Every day it moves several feet as it carves off the same amount. Glaciologists call this equilibrium, and it's the perfect balance of nature that makes it possible for visitors to view it year after year from the viewing platform. What makes Perito Moreno Glacier even more special and famous is that periodically it cuts off the major southern arm known as Brazo Rico of Lago Argentino. The glacier advances right across the lake until it meets the opposite shoreline and the ice tongue is grounded and no longer floating so that it forms a natural dam. This causes the southern arm of the lake to rise and eventually force its way under the ice dam, making a tunnel which creates a famous glacial arch as more of the ice melts and calves, the arch collapses. Watching the final carving of the Perito Moreno Glacial Arch is an incredible and rare display of nature in perfect balance. The last time this happened was in 2016.